All right, what's up guys? I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I have an office tour coming, but I have my boy Matthew here. If you guys don't know him already, people know him as literally the king of Instagram. He, you know, he has a huge sort of marketing agency. He's own pages. He's been doing this since like 13, 14, 13, 13, 13 years old guys. So he knows what he's talking about with Instagram. And basically I, I brought him here today to talk to you guys about how he was able to grow literally organically over 3000 followers a day on one of his pages. <laughs> I want him to do a lot of the talking here just to provide value for you guys. I know this isn't really an e-commerce or dropshipping related video. It can tie in. We'll, we'll kind of touch on that a little bit down in the video, but I kind of want to just let him you know, kind of go off and, and hope you guys learn something interesting. So if I can go. Yeah. So basically, uh, Thaddeus wanted me to come on and talk about Instagram page growth uh, because I was showing him some stats from page of mine today. Uh, where we were hitting like over 4,000 followers some days and that page right now is generating me a few hundred dollars a day so he figured why not use that to tie it into what we talk about anyways and making money on the internet so basically with that page we're uh, we're using that to generate money by monetizing it through selling shout outs as well as e-commerce stores uh, so with all my pages I'm able to basically get a free traffic source before even promoting the products before even having to pay uh, for any ads, Facebook ads, or paying other theme pages, I can literally just run any product that I want to test on my theme pages, depending on whatever niche the product is in. Um, and then I get an idea of if the product's even a winner or not before I even have to spend a dollar on trying it out. So I have pages that cover different niches, and within each niche, obviously, I have a giant array of products that I can choose from. So the more pages and more niches I have, the more different products I can test, and then the more e-commerce projects I can get launched with literally zero dollars in spend besides what I had to invest in growing the pages anyways. So I wanted to come in and teach a little bit about growing pages kind of from scratch. I will make some suggestions based on where I think you should start, but you can definitely start growing pages from scratch. I started from scratch when I was 13. Uh, I actually started on Twitter when I was 13, but we're going to be talking about Instagram, which I started when I was 14. So it's definitely changed a lot since then. The algorithm changes literally in probably every like three to six months. Um, and then there's usually significant changes every year or so. So it's really important that this is being filmed and talked about in 2019, because I'm sure that there are videos out there about 2018 and 2017 and possibly even 2016 or before's algorithm but 2019 has a very unique algorithm and i think just as recent as last week instagram just came out with a new algorithm update which honestly in my opinion is one of the best updates that they've came out with in probably the past six months or so because for a while they were doing a lot to kind of hurt creators and now finally we're in a place again where creators aren't one more thing before matthew gets a little bit you know deep into like actually growing organically guys like the 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 big thing that I wanted to bring him on here for too is like to kind of show you guys like the flip side of you know like e-commerce and the the business or the social media aspect of this in general because I know a lot of you guys are drop shipping or in e-commerce or trying to do that and th this is like the guy you will be interacting with you know when you talk to those Instagram theme pages like Matthew is like one of the pre like he's not the person but like he's he owns like theme pages right and if you guys have been OG subscribers, you'll know that my first store was started because I made a contract with a person who owned a bunch of theme pages. So like I, I literally like started my e-commerce career because of these Instagram theme pages and because getting results with these. And he was he's just the guy that grows these pages and sells the shout outs that I was buying. Okay, so like that's again why I think this is so 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 valuable for you guys as you guys kind of see you know the opposite side of the spectrum and you get a look into you know potential additional revenue streams. Yeah, it's pretty great actually. I was literally, right before we were filming this video, the way that we kind of decided this was the video that we wanted to film, was I was just talking about like, there are so many people who get into e-commerce and blow a thousand dollars on their first store, and then blow a thousand dollars on their second store, and then usually start profiting on their third or fourth store. I know Thaddeus profited straight from the get, and- Well, and <laughs> my first drop should be store is profitable. I, I, don't, get, don't get me wrong guys, I failed a lot with white label and private label because I did that first before drop shipping. So I lost money in inventory. My first job sure did well. And that was thanks to theme pages. pages. Yeah. <laughs> so it's actually kind of funny because literally what I was explaining was like, for me, drop shipping was so easy. Like my first like store that I actually took seriously did uh, five figures in the first month and six figures by the second month. Um, so with that, I can owe pretty much 
99% of that success to the fact that I already had these free traffic sources from the Instagram pages I owned. So I knew that the product was a winner because I tested it right away. Um, whereas a lot of people have to blow money, like I said, before they start getting uh, products that they know actually work or a store that they know that works or landing page that works or whatever, whatever. Really, you just get to test so many things for pretty much for free uh, besides whatever you have to invest to get the page going in the beginning. So it's worth the extra bit of time and maybe the small money it takes to get the page started versus the amount of money that you lose out on by just going straight into drop shipping. Um, so obviously, you know, you don't have to do this before doing drop shipping. Uh, I just think that if you want to make a lot more money in the long run than building these free traffic sources and then using them to promote other products and brands too, uh, will just end up making you way more money. You have more revenue streams. Uh, you have, like I said, free traffic streams. Um, and now you can grow your personal too. If you want to get into personal branding, you can it. like, it just opens up a whole, just a whole array of opportunities, right? You have, if you have your own dropshipping store, you have a free traffic source, okay? Now, because of your free traffic source, you can sell that traffic source to other people with those stores, okay? And then from there, you can even sell that traffic source to your own brand and grow your brand, and from your own brand, you can launch other, it, it, it's like a snowball effect, guys, and just looking at the opportunity cost and kind of what you want to be doing in the long term, guys, it's like, and this is something that is a much more longer term play than just starting a dropshipping store, and that's um, like the payoff can be a lot bigger than that and it can help, you know, launching a dropshipping store, launching a brand, launching whatever you want to launch because of your traffic source. Yeah, and um, I would definitely say like, you have to kind of be willing to not make money for a lot longer. Uh, a lot of people get into dropshipping because I know everyone's gonna click away just because I said that. Uh, sorry. But, um, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's worth the longer term play. Um, I can say that I probably make more than 99.999% of the drop shipping gurus you see out there and I owe 99% of that to my theme pages because my theme pages generate me way more than drop shipping or e-commerce does uh, personally and a lot of that just has to do with the fact that I was willing to grind it out for so many years and build up to the point to where now like i have these free traffic sources for my stores but really i have these constant money makers that run on autopilot i don't need to fulfill orders i don't need to uh, do customer service really I, there's not like a bunch of extra things that i need to do it's pretty much just post good content give instagram what it wants continue to grow your pages and then also monetize them so with that being said is there anything else you want to say before i actually hop into it? yeah let's just give the give the people the juice dog. cool basically the first thing that i want to start by saying is you can definitely start off from scratch you can start from zero um, and the way to start from zero is pretty much pick a niche find something that you understand uh it can be memes if you understand memes you're like already ahead. Like if you really get memes, then you can definitely do memes and those will grow pretty well. If you have like another really interesting niche, so for example, satisfying videos, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen videos out there playing with like slime and stuff. There's all types of satisfying videos, uh, hair, makeup, beauty, a lot of pages out there that focus around like the Kardashians. I don't, I don't know why, but the Kardashians are just super, actually I do know why, but they're just super popular on Instagram so like a lot there's actually a lot of pages out there that are around the Kardashians um, and then obviously like if you like sports depending on what sport you understand the best you can make a sports theme page really the possibilities are literally endless like I've ran big campaigns through my marketing agency for companies that focused on hunting pages uh, fishing pages um, and then like it ranges like literally anywhere like right now we're doing a campaign for a very famous rapper that a lot of you have definitely heard of uh, I'm not gonna name him here but um, so we're running on rap pages and hood comedy pages for him. So again, the possibilities are limit literally limitless. Um, so you have to basically just pick your niche. If you're starting from scratch, post good content. Uh, you're gonna have to post a lot daily. I would say probably like 10 to 15 times a day if you're starting from scratch and just filling it with hashtags that are somewhat related to your niche and what people would want to see. And, and like this is, I mean, like after you said the 10 15, like I, you know, I'm sure there's some people that are just like, oh. Hold up, 15 posts a day, guys, there, there's softwares out there that, like, aren't there, like, auto-scheduling posting softwares? I think there are now. Yeah, there are now. There wasn't they, before, but there definitely are now. And so just let that kind of, like, they kind of let that happen. So, um, again, you can free up your time. So it's not like a time chunk where, you know, you have to be on Instagram posting to that page. 
but you can kind of schedule things out every single morning or you know the night before so yeah like yeah you could or you could post less and take slower growth i would advise against that i mean the goal here is to get money so you want to go ham you don't want to waste a bunch of time but you know you're going to do what you want to do at the end of the day anyways this is just my suggestions and it's worked well for me so with that being said what i would actually suggest most people do is if you can afford it take three hundred dollars five hundred dollars a thousand dollars maybe whatever you can um, and buy an Instagram page to start off with. Go on Instagram and find a bunch of pages in a niche that you like and DM all those pages and just ask them what they would want for their page and then try negotiating with them. Or you can go on websites like OG Users. Basically, OG Users is a forum where you can go and buy stat accounts on social media platforms and then you don't even have to keep whatever the theme of those pages are. You can theme swap it to whatever you want as long as it's close enough to the audience, you should be fine and you shouldn't lose too many followers. And what I mean by that is if you're buying a page that's makeup and hair, you can change it to a nails page, but you might not want to buy a page that's makeup and hair and change it to a football car page, page or a yeah. car page. Yeah. Um, so you definitely want to stay kind of within the same audience and demographic, but not necessarily the same niche or theme. Uh, or you can keep the same niche and theme. If the page is already doing well, then you might not want to ruin that uh, because you might actually end up losing more than what you're going to gain from it for a very long time. So once you buy a page, your next goal is to, and if you don't buy a page, regardless, either way, you need to at least get to around 10,000 followers and 500 plus likes. So either way, whether you buy the page or you start from scratch, that's your first goal. After that, you're pretty much just looking for other pages in your similar niche or your similar demographic or audience and get them to do shout out for shout out or and or likes and comments with you. So shout out for shout out is pretty straightforward. You literally shout them out, they shout you out, you guys grow each other. Likes for likes and comments for comments is basically you're working with the Instagram algorithm. So you're going and you're liking and commenting on the last posts of these other people's pages and they're doing the same for you. And what that does is that boosts your post to their audience as well as boosting their post to your audience. And you guys are like wondering like why that happens, right? It's like pages that, you know, with more followers and more engagement, they, there's like a certain rank, right? Between these all pages. And so when Instagram detects that, you know, these pages of a higher rank are liking your content, Instagram thinks, oh, okay, this content is more satisfactory. Like these higher quality pages are liking it. Then, you know, there's a higher probability that it gets pushed like the explore page and, you know, the hashtags you're using. Um, and stuff like that. Yeah, higher quality pages, plus the bigger thing is they have so many followers now uh, that the, so you kind of got to think of it like the explore page is just a giant, beautiful, algorithm, algorithmically focused uh, feed specifically tailored to you or whoever else is looking at it at any given time from their own device and their own Instagram app based on the people that they follow and the things that they interact with. So if people who follow you engage with your posts a lot, when you engage with someone else else's posts, now the people that follow you are more likely for that other person's posts to show up on their feed. You I know, know something even like, I'm, I'm sure like, cause we're on, like you're watching this on YouTube, YouTube's even started to do that. Like if you guys scroll through your, you know, your subscription feed, there's like, I've seen this too, where it'll be like, you know, this channel's viewers also watched and it'll show me a whole feed of videos. So it's kind of like just relating in terms of like, that's kind of what Instagram's kind of do now. Yeah, and I mean, obviously that's kind of what every platform is starting mm -hmm. to move towards because they want you to spend the most time on their platform. So you always have to think, how can I give Instagram what they want or for any platform for that matter, how can I give this platform what they want and get them to kind of promote my posts to the followers of people who could possibly be interested in my posts. So like I see time, I see posts all the time where they come from a page that only has 60 or 70 K followers and they have 500 K views or a million views and hundreds of thousands of likes, which is like, obviously very rare, but what's happening there is basically the content just happens to be so good and po and maybe they were the first person to post that on their theme page. So now it's getting promoted to literally everybody who could, who that could possibly interest because again, it's all one giant algorithm. 
Um, and then that's how you're going to be able to grow exponentially. So sometimes you'll see accounts jump from 60K to 70K followers in a week. And all of that is just because they're posting such good content and they're in, they're in these engagement groups that are helping them boost their content and then they're taking off. And then like Thaddeus said earlier, it's just a giant snowball effect. So obviously with Instagram growth, there are always tips just like anything else. And they're always like hidden tricks and uh, different things that you can do. And we can't go super in depth on every single thing. I'm just trying to give you guys like the biggest pieces to He's it right now. giving you guys the juice. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you guys like the juice right now. If you want like the the fine-tuned stuff, I'm gonna have an ebook on Instagram growth that's coming out pretty soon here, hopefully like Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> if you guys are interested in you know this ebook, because again, Matthew um, just kind of like spent, I mean, you've been working on this for weeks. Like, I've, Yeah, so I mean, it's something that I've wanted to do for like a really long time, but we started it, I think like a month and a half ago, and obviously not super difficult for me to write out, but uh, I want it to be, Great. So. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys will see it under the future YouTube video. Maybe this YouTube video, too, depending on when, you know, when, when this guy's done with it. But we'll see. So, anyways, with that being said, just to give you guys some last pieces of advice before you go and do this. Like we said earlier, obviously, this is super great because you can test products. You can make money off the pages. You can do a bunch of stuff with it. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're always posting content that's original. Um, you don't want to do a bunch of spammy stuff because all you're going to do is you're going to drag the platform down. Nobody's going to be happy with you. You could literally get your page suspended or you could even get sued if you're stealing a bunch of content from the wrong people. So be safe with it. Um, and then I would love to see you guys out there growing pages. If you do grow pages and then you want a company to help you out to monetize those pages, you can always DM my marketing agency on Instagram at Bolus Media and we'll help you make money on your page as soon as you get to a decent amount of followers and likes, which I would say is probably around at least 5,000 likes. And keep in mind, everything's based on engagement. So don't go adding a bunch of fake followers to pages and trying to sell shout outs to people. <laughs> that's not what we want. Uh, this is definitely supposed to be something that's supposed to be very valuable. And uh, even I would say a little bit less about quick money than drop shipping and a little bit more about building a long term valuable thing that can really generate you literally millions a year. It's literally uh, like digital real estate guys. Like yeah. You're, you're getting a little a small piece of land that you can kind of nurture and grow to something that pays off a lot more than when you started it with. Yeah. Yep. So you want to talk about how do you want to push this into our uh... the flyout thing? Yeah, you want to do that? Okay. Um, yeah. All right, guys. But I know this has been a little bit of a longer video, and not necessarily you know always just talking about like, drop shipping or e-commerce. Um, I've seen some of you guys' comments. You guys, you know, um, you like you know these other videos, just not talking about specifically drop shipping. And you know, I had Matthew in town, or I just moved to town, so I, I had him come over film this video, um, and you know, hopefully got you guys a lot of you know, value from this and hopefully give you guys a few ideas that, you know, you guys can pursue um, down the road. Now, I, I, got, I got a lot of DMs too. I want to touch on this, you know, as just the end of the video, but I've literally been getting a bunch of DMs asking if I, you know, do, you know, mentorship and stuff. And like, I've tried in the past, failed. I, cause I, I don't have the time. Like I, before, you know, I, me and Matthew both have a bunch of projects and businesses that, that we are dedicated to, right. And that we have to um, you know, work on every single day. And so, you know, a month long mentorship and stuff like that, like that's, we don't usually do that. But I convinced Matthew, right? Cause you know, I moved here, we both live, like, he lives literally five minutes away from me now. Uh, I told him like, hey, you know, maybe if we brought up this idea that someone can, you know, fly out to us for two days, okay? And learn from us in person, from both of us, right? So like we got literally the king of Instagram here and then content king over here with, you know, Instagram branding um, and all that. And even dropshipping too, if that's, you know, something that someone wants to learn. Um, but yeah, just like a, a kind of like a flower. So it is kind of like a mentorship guys, but it's definitely more in person, not more in person, it is in person. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's one on one guys, it's in person and it's tailored like to, to you specifically. It's not just phone calls. Um, and fixing a few problems here and there. Like you're literally gonna be eating with us and spending 24 seven time with us while you're out here um, in our efforts to kind of like help you guys out. So along with that, I was just talking to Thaddeus about this earlier when we were kind of deciding like, this was not something we planned before this. This was like, uh, hey, are you getting a bunch of DMs about doing mentorships? And I was kind of like, yeah, but probably not as many as you because <laughs> I'm not as cool as you. And he was like, okay, well, 
um, I want to do fly outs and I was like okay uh, well what would we charge for that because like obviously we're busy and that's not like something that we kind of really want to do uh, but at the same time we also really do want to find people who are like really about uh, grinding and hustling and getting to uh, creating more streams of revenue that are more legitimized than just drop shipping although like we wouldn't mind teaching drop shipping um i just we both kind of feel like there's areas that both of us excel at a lot more that will benefit you a lot more than just us teaching you drop shipping yeah makes sense. yeah so what what we kind of talked about earlier was i wanted to tie in the two things that we're best at and then tailor the rest around whatever anybody else wants because we've done like we've both done software related things we've do, both done social media things we've both done e-commerce lots of e-commerce um but i wanted to do specifically uh, teaching people how to grow Instagram pages one-on-one -on -one, while he teaches people specifically how to do content for whatever it is that they want to do one-on-one -on -one. and then together we teach you who flies out uh, literally LA, by the way oh yeah Los Angeles. well Irvine location uh, Irvine. Same thing. yeah right yeah okay. like an hour from <laughs> LA yeah so don't fly into LAX like definitely um, you know, we'll talk to you about it before <laughs> if that's something you're interested in. So don't fly into LAX, like the airport closer to here is Santa Ana. We'll pick you up if you're in Santa Ana. We're not picking you up if you fly to LAX. You're, <laughs> you're Ubering here, I'm sorry. But with the rest of what we would be teaching, it would all be kind of tailored around what you want to learn. So if you want to learn dropshipping, I'll teach you how to build a page in the niche of your dropshipping store and Thaddeus will teach you how to do content for your dropshipping store. If you want to do I'm private just label, making the website yeah. and everything else like that. Like, yeah, it's obviously, kind of yeah. Like, like, yeah. We would help you with your website, the apps, literally everything else. Uh, but then if you want to do private label, then we can teach you a little bit more. We can Which by the way is something further. I would much rather teach you and I think something you would much rather make more money off of. Yeah. Not much rather make more money, like you would make more money off of. Yeah, if you can afford to fly out to us, you can probably afford to do an actual private label thing, which Again, is probably going to be a little bit slower, a little bit more cost. Uh, what is it? Mo a little bit more costly. Capital intensive. Yeah, That's yeah. The word. <laughs> <laughs> but I would definitely say private label is the way to go in 2019. And then you know, if that's if neither of those things are what you want to learn, and you literally just want to pay us to fly out to us, like we're not going to be mad at you. And we've had friends that did that. Yes. No. Our friends who I have sold flyouts have sold that many times, which I mean. I guess I would have no problem with that. Like, if you want to fly out and hang out with us, I'm not gonna be <laughs> mad at you. <laughs> but, but yeah. So, I mean, shit. If you guys are interested in flying out to us and having both of us kind of, uh, literally like mentor you for those two days um, or however long, then you'll find a link down below. Um, literally just fill out your information, apply, and we'll be in touch with you. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. I really just wanted to kind of, kind of open up and show you guys again that that different sort of perspective on things. Just because I know a lot of you guys are in the e-commerce space and are used to you know interacting with you know people that run these pages and kind of just give his perspective on sort of all of that and hopefully give you guys a few new ideas to make some money. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, I respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe guys. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll probably do an office tour or something like that soon. Um, and yeah guys, I will see you guys there. Subscribe to Matthew's channel, he's down below. And yeah, shoots. See you. Oh, fuck, hold on, hold on. Ooh, cut, end scene, start scene. <laughs>